Welcome back, everybody, to Inside the Vandals. Joining me now is Idaho women's coach John Newley. John, it's been a while here. Didn't have any games this weekend. You guys return from the road two weekends ago against Louisiana Tech. Talk about this week off, what you guys did, what you said to the team, and maybe what you've learned going into these last three games here. Well, we really used the week to just keep up our conditioning. Uh, did a lot of things up and down, worked on our transition game. Um, try to fine tune the offense a little bit, you know, just got a, a lot of pressure defense going. Just trying to, like I said, trying to keep in the flow as much as we can. Uh, I think the break comes at a, at a bad time um, at this time of the year, but uh, everybody's got it. So, you know, you just got to keep going with it. So now, John, despite the two losses on the road two weeks ago at Arlington and at Louisiana Tech, you guys still have that half game lead over third place. One of those teams that you have that half game lead over, you guys face starting off Thursday against UTSA. Last time down in San Antonio, you guys keep it tight in the first half there and then open that gap in the second half en route to a 19 point win over the Roadrunners. Talk about that game, what you saw in that and how you can continue to exploit this Roadrunner team here in the Cowan Spectrum Thursday. Well, I thought we did a great job defensively in that game, uh, really following the game plan and um, you know packing in a little bit and making them take some outside shots that maybe they don't want to take and I think we need to do that again we're gonna to have to rebound better and we're gonna to have to handle their pressure better I think their their pressure led to uh, layups at the other end for them then we're gonna to have to take better care of the basketball uh, be able to beat them here you guys turned the ball over 16 times in that one and that is a number that has continued to go down uh, in recent weeks and, and since that game I guess you could say one thing that did prove efficient in that game against UTSA is team scoring once again Alyssa Charleston double figures Christina Salvatore Connie Ballestero and Jessica Graham all in double figures talk about how explosive not only one player on the team can be John but four or five girls can be at the same time well that's kind of been our mark all year you know as anybody can score it's an equal opportunity offense I always tell them so you know if you're open you need to have confidence you need to shoot the basketball and um you know, I thought we did that definitely very well down in uh, San Antonio. Um, you know, Jess, they left her open and she made him pay. Uh, Liz had a, a really solid basketball game along with Christina and Connie. So, you know, we're looking to spread the wealth again. When they come in, you know, you can't just key on one of us. They, they've tried, you know, teams have tried to double up Alyssa and think that might get it done. But I think um, uh, they're finding out that we have other weapons. Jess Graham was three of four from deep against UTSA in that one. And I remember after we came back from that trip, John, we, we did the show that next day. You had said that that was probably the best defensive trip that you had seen out of the team all year. In that case, UTSA shot only 27% from the floor. How do you guys lock it down defensively again, not only against them, but against Texas State as well this weekend? Well, I think both teams are similar, and they like to drive. They like that dribble drive offense. They like to get up and down the floor. And we just have to slow it down and play at our tempo from a defensive standpoint. Well, we're going to have to get physical with them as well, you know, and not, uh, you know, I thought we did at San Antonio did a good job for the most part of not giving up O boards. And um, we're going to have to continue that to uh, have a chance. So now, John, we move Saturday against Texas State, and this is another team. You guys got a big road win against them down in San Marcos, Texas, about a month ago. And I said in that one, uh, just a few minutes ago, you know, four players for you guys can score in double figures. In that one, five players scored in double figures. Alyssa Charleston, Allie Ford. Christina Salvatore, Connie Ballestero, Chrissy Carr, all scoring in double figures in that one. Uh, but it doesn't quite match maybe one player's scoring ability for Texas State, and that's Diamond Ford. Uh, there are players in this conference, John Torea Cunningham, Devin Christensen, Stephanie Gilbreth, that are explosive scorers. I don't know that any really match the capability that is Diamond Ford. Yeah, Diamond Ford, uh, she's really hard to guard, I think. Um... You know, she can take the ball to the hoop, she finishes at the hoop, she makes her free throws, she can shoot the three. Uh, she's very creative off the bounce, and I think that's what separates her from a, from a lot of the other scorers, you know, like you said, in our league. Um, really hard to guard. You know, we're going to have to team guard her like we did the last time. She still uh, was able to, you know, get into the 20s, I think. And, uh, but I thought, you know, weirdly, again, I thought we did a good job on her. You know, I thought we made her earn it, and we need to make her a volume shooter and uh, hold the other guys down. You know, they will have that big post this time, and that will be a, a, a much bigger problem for us inside. You talk about that post, it's Ashley Eze. She was out last time in San Marcos when you guys played her. Before her injury, Eze was a double-double player in the WAC. She was, in fact, the only player averaging 10 rebounds, 10 points per game in the conference. Just talk about how much that changes your game plan against them and changes how they play when it's not only the perimeter scorers in forward, but also Eze inside. Yeah, it gives them another scorer inside, which is uh, we're not going to be able to help off as much of Ford like we did with our with our bigs. Um, you know, we're going to have to accept the challenge of being able to guard in the paint. You know, I think we've been exploited in the paint on the road trip. 
uh, the last trip we just took. So uh, our posts are going to have to step up and play good interior defense this week. Alyssa here not only has to be big in these last three games, but also into the tournament and maybe whatever comes next for you guys. Talk about her leadership and her presence on the court for especially the three freshmen that are having to make a big impact here down the stretch. Well, this has been huge all, all year for us from a leadership standpoint. You know, she's our captain. She, she understands what it's like to be in this program for three years and understand what Division I basketball is all about. And I think she's done a great job of, of letting our freshmen know, letting them grow, you know, somewhat at their own pace, but also being there for them, um, you know, in the down times especially, because certainly freshmen are going to be up and down. And, uh, you know, they, they can go to her with questions. They, they know that she's done it, that she is an all-whack performer. Uh, she's performed at the highest level. So I think she's a great person for them to go to, a great person for them to look up to. And by the same token, Alyssa needs to keep stepping up and, uh, you know, expand her game as we get into these last three games and into the WAC tournament. Well, Coach, we'll have to see how she does this weekend. Two pivotal games against the Roadrunners and the Bobcats. Make sure you guys get out here to the Cowan Spectrum to check out this team. In fact, the last chance, Senior Day, actually on Saturday, you can check out Jess Graham and Ann Overgaard, their final action here inside the Cowan Spectrum. Coach, thank you very much for joining us here today. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in this week to Inside the Van. Well, special thanks to Idaho men's coach Don Verlin and women's coach John Newley for stopping by and talking shop with us this week. Want to remind you to tune in same time, same place next week. Make sure you also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash inside the vandals and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash vandal insider. I'm Madison McCord. Have a great weekend. Go vandals.